This is my updated 2022 tutorial on how to make a song in Audacity covering all the basics start to finish. A lot of people like Audacity and my Audacity videos, they're approaching a million total views, so I hope this one helps all you aspiring artists out there. But a quick disclaimer, I've made basically this exact video using another free software Cakewalk that's a bit more advanced but also what I've switched to as my daily go-to software. So if you ever feel you've outgrown Audacity, this other video linked in the top right corner is where you want to be. But no worries if Audacity is all you got to work with or are familiar with right now, it's what I used to make my first song that now has 20,000 streams just on Spotify, and what we're using to make something dope today. Let's work! Yeah. And it took some time for me to forget you, still in my songs I guess it's the issue, turn these pages I entered the issue, go ahead and cry, here's the box for the tissues, back on film just watching the scenes move, boy crush beats make it listen what he do, radiate love like a sea it unseas too, cry to myself for making this piece too. So that's my song, and what we're stealing vocals from to break down this process today, so hopefully you like it. If so, I'd very much appreciate you streaming it from the links in the description. I'll remind you again before the video ends though, so feel free to put that off until you actually get through the video. Let's talk recording vocals. My current setup is the PreSonus Aris 3.5 speakers, Rode NT1 mic, and these Bear Dynamic mixing headphones. This is a solid setup, and I can't help but recommend my own videos if you want to learn more about these boys, but also, I understand it'd be a lot of cash to get these all at once, especially as a beginner. So for the time being, using a $100 or even as low as $50 USB mic to get started is totally fine. And you obviously need headphones or earbuds to listen to your instrumental as you record vocals to it, so just grab whatever pair you got lying around. It really doesn't matter as long as they're wired. So let's get our instrumental track into Audacity, that's a simple drag and drop, and I'd recommend dropping the gain by around 8 decibels to make room for our vocals. Then make a new track to hold those vocals by hitting tracks, add new, then stereo. You can probably see where this is headed now that we have an instrumental that'll play through the earbuds we just talked about, plus a vocal track that'll record from the mic we just talked about. Let's click right at the beginning of our vocal track to put our cursor there, then click the big red button to record to that spot. We've jumped ahead in the future a little bit, and if you're confused as to how these takes look so perfect, I get where you're coming from. These are acapella vocals from the song you heard earlier, and long story short, they're made up of a bunch of takes combined. That'll make things easier to follow once we get to mixing, but what I'd recommend for you is making several tracks for each section of the song. When you get a good take, select the part you want to keep, and hit this trim audio outside selection button. That'll mute all the audio outside the good part. And using that technique, make new tracks for different sections, taking the stress off getting a single perfect take. And keep in mind, you can select multiple tracks to apply plugins all at once, so this doesn't make mixing any more difficult. Let's jump into mixing with third-party plugins. Those plugins are M Auto Pitch, TDR Nova, TDR Molotok, TDSer, and Verbrate Basic 2. With these, we want the 32-bit VST2 versions installed to this specific Audacity plugins folder. That may seem complicated, but it's really just ensuring when you get to a screen like this, only the 32-bit VST2 version is checked, and when you get to a screen asking where you want that installed, you have this directory set as the location. Okay, jumping back into Audacity, let's go to Effect, Add Remove Plugins. Here, click New if things are overwhelming because of built-in effects, and go through the plugins we need. That's M Auto Pitch, Nova, Molotok, TDSer, and Verberate. Selecting them, clicking Enable, then OK. And that should be all the prep work that needs to be done. Next, I'll run through all these plugins, giving you a brief description of what they do, plus a preview of what they sound like on our example vocals. The way set words, no particular rhymes. The way kill flows, no particular crime. I'm living on my own and I'm feeling just fine. Tomorrow, yesterday, and today, my time. Today, yesterday, and tomorrow, my time. Got a drug called dry, so I feel like I fly. Okay, M Auto Pitch is a free auto tune knockoff that pulls your notes to fit the key you're performing the song in. Our example song, Back on Film, is in the key D major, and I wanted a pretty intense auto-tune effect, so the automatic tuning speed is at 100%. Keep in mind, I did use real auto-tune for the final version of this song, so for consistency, I'm going to use that going forward, but let me play the example audio with free M auto pitch real quick, and see if you can tell the difference. The way set words, no particular rhymes. The way kill flows, no particular crime. I'm living on my own and I'm feeling just fine. Tomorrow, yesterday, and today, my time. Today, yesterday, and tomorrow, my time. Got a drug called dry, so I feel like I fly. The way set words, no particular rhymes. The way kill flows, no particular crime. I'm living on my own and I'm feeling just fine. Tomorrow, yesterday, and today, my time. Today, yesterday, and tomorrow, my time. Got a drug called dry, so I feel like I fly. Next, let's jump into a simplified vocal EQ using TDR Nova. 
EQs are open-ended plugins that let you manipulate frequencies by using a line that extends from left to right, representing low to high frequencies, and you can use these little nodes to put cuts in the EQ, or on the flip side, boosts. Mine here is set to boost pleasant sounding frequencies and cut unpleasant ones. The way I set words, no particular rhymes. The way I kill flows, no particular crime. I live on my own and I'm feeling just fine. Tomorrow, yesterday, and today, my time. Today, yesterday, and tomorrow, my time. Got a drug called dry, so I feel like I fly. After that, I'm popping on another TDR Nova that's what I'm calling a smart high shelf. High frequencies are good for making vocals clearer in an era where crisp vocals on wavy beats are a popular style, and this one helps bring up high frequencies while dynamically reducing harsh S sounds. This is a bit advanced and something we'll circle back to when discussing my preset pack, but as a beginner, don't feel bad to just put in a high shelf, as we will be using a separate de-essing plugin as the next step. The way I set words, no particular rhymes. The way I kill flows, no particular crime. I live on my own and I'm feeling just fine. Tomorrow, yesterday, and today, my time. Today, yesterday, and tomorrow, my time. Got a drug called dry, so I feel like I fly. That deesser I just mentioned is next to tame these and shh sounds a bit more. TDSer is the name of it, with how powerful its deessing is, being controlled by this massive dial here. The way I set words, no particular rhymes. The way I kill flows, no particular crime. I live on my own and I'm feeling just fine. Tomorrow, yesterday, and today, my time. Today, yesterday, and tomorrow, my time. Got a drug called dry, so I feel like I fly. Following that, Molotok. Molotok is a compressor, and what a compressor does is reduce the volume of loud parts of vocals to make everything more uniform. This is a really great plugin, and one of the most straightforward compressors in this pretty confusing genre of plugin. The most important settings are the threshold, which is how loud the vocals need to be to get squashed, and the ratio is the extent to which they get squashed. The way I set words, no particular rhymes. The way I kill flows, no particular crime. I live on my own and I'm feeling just fine. Tomorrow, yesterday, and today, my time. Today, yesterday, and tomorrow, my time. Got a drug called dry, so I feel like I fly. After that, let's use the built-in Audacity Delay to add a delay to our vocals. If you divide 60 by the BPM of your song, that'll give you the time in seconds of a quarter note delay, and in beginner terms, that equation will give you a versatile delay time that fits the tempo of your song. The way I set words, no particular rhymes. The way I kill flows, no particular crime. I live on my own and I'm feeling just fine. Tomorrow, yesterday, and today, my time. Today, yesterday, and tomorrow, my time. Got a drug called dry, so I feel like I fly. That's it for effects put directly on the vocals, but a song isn't complete without reverb, so let's drop on both a room and hall reverb using Verberate Basic 2. What's great about this plugin is it's free because it's very uncustomizable, but that actually works in our favor here because it's easy to get started with. A quick and easy reverb setup for a song these days is a room reverb to emulate a physical room, plus a hall to emulate a concert hall. This massive dial essentially controls how much reverb you get, so don't go crazy with it and add a small amount of room reverb, the way I set words, no particular rhymes. The way I kill flows, no particular crime. I live on my own and I'm feeling just fine. Tomorrow, yesterday, and today, my time. Today, yesterday, and tomorrow, my time. Got a drug called dry, so I feel like I fly. And a decent amount of hall reverb. The way I set words, no particular rhymes. The way I kill flows, no particular crime. I live on my own and I'm feeling just fine. Tomorrow, yesterday, and today, my time. Today, yesterday, and tomorrow, my time. Got a drug called dry, so I feel like I fly. This video is not sponsored by anybody, but I do have a product of my own that'll really give you a head start with mixing, my Audacity Mixing Presets. They allow you to bring in my exact settings for all the plugins in this video for a super solid starting point, including my TDR Nova Versatile EQ settings, my TDR Nova Smart High Shelf, my TDR Molotov Compression settings, and my settings for Verberate Basic 2 that lay down standard levels of room and hall reverb. These are incredibly easy to use as I include an 11 page PDF guide that gives all the info you need to get started. And to import the presets, you just click the three lines button, import and select the file from the preset pack you downloaded. They're only $7 to make them ultra budget friendly. And shoot, I'll wrap up this segment by saying this, you can get a solid mixing foundation and audacity with these guys for the price of a Subway sandwich. But with that being said, what we just put together is a simplified tutorial on making music and audacity gear you need, recording, free plugins to get started, and mixing. I hope this video helped provide a basic level of understanding music making in this popular free software, and I'll also pop up my Cakewalk song tutorial in just a sec if you want to compare with this video fresh in your brain. Please subscribe, check the song from the video and my presets out in the description, and I'll see you soon. Drug called dry, so I feel like I fly.